Hi everyone, my name is Burak Adanojan and I am an electrical and electronics engineering student at Britannic University. And this class is Physics 102 and I will be showing you my physics lab project. And in this project I will be investigating the magnetic field of an inductor with changing independent variables such as uh, the number of turns and the diameter. And for this experiment we need the following equipment. Gauss meter three different types of inductors and power supply if an electric current flows through this coil of wire it produces a magnetic field around it and the strength of the magnetic field induced by the electric current flowing around the center of core depends on the type of the material of the core the number of coils of the wire and the cross-sectional area and length of the coil in this experiment, we will measure the magnetic field produced by several types of inductors and show that the magnetic field is proportional to the inductor's radius and the number of turns. In the beginning, I have measured the magnetic field of an inductor which has 700 turns and 2 cm radius. Secondly, I have measured the magnetic field of an inductor which has 200 turns and 2 cm radius. As a final step, I have measured the magnetic field of an inductor which has 200 turns and 1 cm radius. Having these data gives us the opportunity to plot their graphs. The purpose of this graph is to show the relationship between the number of turns and magnetic field, and they are directly proportional as can be seen. And from the second graph, we can understand that increasing the radius has a decreasing effect on magnetic field. The purpose of this experiment was to examine how changing the radius and number of rotations affected the magnetic field. The relationship between these factors and magnetic field has been established as seen in the graphics. The magnetic field is related to the number of rotations and inversely proportional to the radius. During the measurement step there were a few mistakes and we had to measure the magnetic field directly in the middle of the inductor which is considered an error. Another inaccuracy is the inexorable tiny shaking of the human hand. Despite the certain errors, the relationship that we sought to underline is readily visible. 